In the previous videos, you have learned how important zinc and other trace minerals based foods that directly helps to shrink the prostate gland. Today we are talking about another major thing everyone skips when it's about prostate enlargement issue. You know, dihydrotestin is the main thing that promotes the growth of prostate cells. Now you should ask yourself why testosterone is converting into dihydrotestin. And who is messing the whole thing especially men over 50 or as we get older? Right? The answer is free radicals production into our body. Because of too much oxidation process our hormonal balance gets interrupted. The hormonal imbalance is causing prostate tissue growth called estrogen. If the estrogen level raise up and testosterone level goes down then the prostate enlargement issue happens. Dear friends, zinc helps prevent excessive prostate tissue growth by controlling these hormone levels. But don't think that I will take zinc supplement or zinc based diet, then the problem should be gone. The answer might not be directly right. Because zinc helps definitely, but if you ignore the other factors that are causing the estrogen dominance issue, then you are not gonna fix the prostate enlargement issue. Let me explain deeply. Estrogen is an androgenic hormone. Androgenic hormones include testosterone, dihydrotestin, DHT, dehydroepiandrosterone, DHEA, androstenedion, and 5-androstenedion. Androgens are synthesized from cholesterol. Testosterone is the main circulating androgen in men and it's important for the development of accessory sex organs and secondary sexual characteristics. About 90% of testosterone production is by the testes while the rest comes from the adrenal glands. Androgens might not be the only significant hormone in the development of BPH since estrogens, some of which could be synthesized from testosterone, can also influence normal prostate gland functions and may well potentiate pathological growth. Estrogen plays an important role during prostate development and studies have shown that excessive estrogenization during prostatic development may contribute to the high incidence of BPH, currently observed in the aging male population. Neonatal exposure to estrogen interrupts normal prostate development. Serum and intraprostatic estradiol levels tend to increase in men with age, despite decreasing levels of estrogen and testosterone and patients with larger volumes of BPH tend to have high levels of serum estradiol. Adipose tissues express aromatase enzyme, which converts testosterone to estrogen. Adiposity tends to increase with aging. Conversely, testosterone production by the testes tends to decrease with aging. Thus, aging results in a significant increase in the relative level of estrogen compared to testosterone. The estrogen dominant status in men after middle age may therefore be the most significant factor in the induction and progression of BPH. Estrogen action in the prostate may be independent of serum levels of estrogen since estrogen is produced locally within the prostate via conversion of testosterone to 17 estradiol by aromatase enzyme expressed within the prostate stroma. In the next video I will explain how to fix estrogen dominance naturally and changing your lifestyle. Dear friends, you can fix your normal health issue 50-60% to 60 at home before getting too much weak or in emergency situation. Stay healthy and active to enjoy rest of your life peacefully. Thank you.